Behind me is the beautiful home of Samuel L. Hill, Sojourner Truth's best friend here in Florence, and really the father of Florence. Samuel L. Hill was the treasurer of the Northampton Association, and at the end, the community got together and decided, we'll let Samuel Hill sort this out. So he took over all of the assets and liabilities and parlayed those resources into the factory village of Florence that we know today. Just as Samuel Hill had helped his friend Sojourner Truth buy her house at Eaton's Village lot, he helped many other members of the community buy their own homes by providing inexpensive mortgages. The Working Man's Savings Bank came out of that, and out of that came the Florence Savings Bank, the biggest bank here in Hampshire County to this day. As Samuel Hill got on in age, he tried to figure out what was going to be his legacy. Elizabeth Palmer Peabody, the noted educator and transcendentalist, came to Florence to pitch her idea of establishing kindergartens in the United States and convinced Samuel Hill that this is what he might try. And so here, the Florence Kindergarten was established. It grew so fast that he needed to build a building right behind this house is the Florence Kindergarten, known as the Hill Institute today, and it continues as a kindergarten free to all the children in the community. So we look at what Samuel Hill left to us. He left the Hill Institute. He and his friend Alfred Lilly established the Lilly Library that's here, and institutions like the Florence Savings Bank. So when you think about it, the utopian community of the Northampton Association of Education and Industry never really died out. It continued as the neighborhood community and it continues today in a very publicly minded community here in Florence.